There are a lot of positives to being a first-round pick in the NFL draft, but one drawback is the scrutiny that comes with it. And there are times when that scrutiny simply goes overboard, which is exactly what's been going on with Jalen Waddell and Jalen Phillips. The two first-round selections of the Miami Dolphins in the 2021 NFL Draft have been the subject of reports and articles lately questioning a particular body part for each. An ankle for Waddle and the heart for Phillips. And we're here to call B.S. on all of it. We'll start with Waddle and this notion that he was limping during the off-season program, therefore suggesting there was some sort of medical issue with his ankle. First off. Understand that Waddle was present and a full participant for all of the off-season practices that were open to the media. There was zero sign of an issue whenever he ran a route, and if his walk wasn't totally normal it likely suggested a different way of walking than a limp. Besides, as we've suggested before, does anybody honestly think the Dolphins would let Waddle run routes if there was any kind of issue with an ankle? The sixth overall pick in the draft whose game is built on speed and the Dolphins are going to take even the tiniest of chance that it could have an effect in August and September? Come on. This is what Brian Flores said when he was asked about Waddle and the supposed limp. From a health standpoint, I'm looking at him run and it looks like he's doing all right from that standpoint. I don't know if he's got a limp. Maybe he walks with a limp. It looks like he's running pretty well to me, though. You just said the same thing, so I don't know. He looks fine to me physically and we're excited to continue working with him. And then as a capper there was a workout video he posted on his Instagram account, and there's probably no one who could tell you with a straight face there's anything wrong with the way he's running. Okay. Now we get to Phillips, and the question about his heart, as in his heart being in the game, as his passion for the game. This notion that Phillips might not be passionate enough about football comes from his decision to walk away from UCLA during his sophomore season in the aftermath of a couple of concussions. Well, the truth of the matter is there was more to it than that, even though nobody should be judged or criticized for walking away from football because of concussions. The other factor in Phillips' decision, according to a source, was a less-than-ideal relationship with UCLA head coach Chip Kelly, who was hired November 25, 2017. Kelly, the former Philadelphia Eagles and San Francisco 49ers, does not have the greatest reputation in terms of dealing with players. In October 2019, the Los Angeles Times published a story pointing out that 63 players with remaining eligibility had left UCLA since Kelly had taken over a little less than two years earlier. I would say it kind of made it hard to play football for him for some of those guys, you know what I'm saying. Former UCLA wide receiver Damian Alloway was quoted in the story. Football is already a mentally draining sport in every other way and then his kind of formula could take some guys over the edge. Another part of the conversation with Phillips was his musical background, his grandfather was a world-renowned orchestra conductor and both of his parents are musicians, and whether he would want to make that his priority. In that light, Phillips was asked after he was drafted by the Dolphins whether he planned to write a song about making it to the NFL. Music, man, I don't plan on making any songs or anything like that, Phillips said laughing. I'm all in. I'm coming in to play football and I'm excited to get into the facilities and work my. Work my butt off. I don't want to say any expletives. Laughter. I'm going to work hard. Phillips' passion for football came up during his pre-draft evaluation along with his past concussions, but the former stopped being an issue after he went to the University of Miami and turned in a dominating 2020 season in his only year with the Hurricanes.